deliverance is still taking place just by a touch. A touch of God is exposing every darkness out of the life of his people. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The stronger, mightier. Doing all sorts of wonders. Go! Performing miracles. Beaming light in the life of his people. The Spirit of God is embarrassing the spiritual husband that has been embarrassing her. You believe this body you are looking at falling. But what I'm saying falling, how uh, is ma, giant ma, dark in complexion. That is evil. That's why you look at her, life is disorganized. Everything is organized. I don't know what you want to talk about. He promised to leave street this way. You see the situation around that part. So don't have this thought anymore. Hmm? It's negative. Eh? Okay. Why all this? Better I'm not living. Better I'm not living. I can just carry this thing now. Pit myself, that is all. I can carry this thing now. Pit myself, that is all. Can I do this? Say, don't worry, eh? Surrender to Christ. Hmm? Don't worry. It's not your fault. That evil giant evil man that is organized is in the family. So don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. But what you said about me is very true. Each and every blessed day, I have a feeling of ending my own life. Because I think of all the pains I've gone through, business that I set up that has been collapsed, that I hardly feed myself and my daughter. And then most of the times when I sleep, I see this person in my dream. And almost each and every blessed day, it's in a school where I'm wearing a school uniform. And I see this huge person in the form of a teacher Telling me what to do with my life. Telling me what to study each and every blessed day. And I've never had peace any time I had this dream. My job has been collapsed. I have a lot of people owing. I, I'm going to them for my own money. Debtors will even fight me. To the extent the business is collapsed. Even marriage has collapsed. Everything has gone bad. So each and every day, I have a feeling of, why don't I end it all in order to have a peaceful rest? Because I'm always in problems. Always in problems. Can you see how serious it is? But <clears throat> looking at her now, will you know that she's having this thought? Eh? They're telling her, can you stop this? Thoughts, see the straight. This kind of thought is negative. You go to use a man to review what is happening. Stop this thought. It's negative. Hmm? And the cause is evil man. I've no blame her, but the cause is evil man, giant man. So the same voice 
that is saying this, the same voice that is telling you that the kingdom of God is real, you should cherish it, than the earth, this earth. Okay, what is that? Uh -huh. And I've always had a severe pain, very severe pain, from my stomach to my abdomen. Most of the times, I can't even sit down. I can't even lie down. When I lie down for a while, I have to wake up and walk around before I can go back to bed. I've been having a very severe pain from nowhere. Now it's gone. Amen. Check yourself. It's gone. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Can you see? Not one, not two, not three. Just our little service here. So that's what must value it. I always tell you that you may not value what I'm telling you on a canopy. But those, <laughs> those over there, now judgment has taken place. Ah! Oh, oh. You say, you people love this man, you people love this man, you people love this man. But the world will hit me because I'm talking about the kingdom of God. They will hate me. It's normal. They hated Jesus. Why they would not hate me? So it's normal. Those who love things of this world, they always complain. This man is this. This man is Why is the only kingdom of, kingdom of God? We will not talk about breakthrough. We will not talk about breakthrough. I want to, my business to boom. Right? Yeah, you can talk about business boom. But if you not get there, you see everything on the table. Everything. Ah, no stress. I don't go to farm. I don't go to business. Just comfortable life. You're, there's nothing that like my conscience is disturbing me. Whatever. Yes. Ah! You see this thing I, was, I wanted to miss? So I miss it. You will not be looking at those in the head. Say, ah! Hey, welcome to Jesus on the Train International Ministry. Can you please tell us your name and where you're coming from? My name is Abigail. I'm coming from Accra. Now, during today, Thursday, the deliverance, prophetic, and healing service, the man of God gave you a message of prophecy. What was the prophecy that you received? That I've been having a dream for I quite a long time, and I didn't know what it was. But what the man of God said was true. I always have a dream of seeing this child in, in always in a school, when I'm in a school uniform. And the man is telling me what to do and how to save my life. And the man of God said it and I've been experiencing it for years now. The Spirit of God is embarrassing the spiritual husband that has been embarrassing her. You believe this body you are looking at falling. But what I'm saying falling, how is ma, giant ma, dark in complexion. That is evil. That's why you look at her, life is disorganized. Everything disorganized. I don't know what you want to talk about. He promised to leave street this way. You see the situation around that part. So you confirm this prophecy to be true for your life? Yes, it is true. And moreover, he did mention of how I always think and move without telling anybody in my house how I feel like ending my whole life, how I feel like bringing everything to an end just to be free. So don't have this thought anymore. Hmm? It's negative. Huh? Okay. Wow, this. Better I'm not living. Better I'm not living. I can just carry this thing now. Beat myself, that is all. I can carry this thing now. Beat myself, that is all. Can I do this? Ma, you mean this uh, spirit being, this giant being that you have been seeing your dream? has also resulted in telling you to commit, giving you suicidal thoughts. Exactly. 
It always tells me that no one can solve my problem and at the end of the day I will die. So it's better I end it now. So you confirm all these prophecies to be 100% true for your life? I confirm everything to be totally true. When everything is disorganized in my life, business has collapsed, even marriage has become a big problem and has also collapsed. Nothing is moving on perfectly for me. So do you believe that this yeah. word of prophecy from the man of God, the Apostle Dan Okafo, has delivered you from this uh, spirit being that have been tormenting your life? Yes, I feel so and I believe in it. So we thank God for your life, for this message of prophecy that has come to disconnect you from your past. I want to encourage and advise you that you continue to stay true to Jesus so that this deliverance that you have received here today will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for saving my life. Thank you. Like and follow us on Facebook at Jesus on the Throne International Ministry. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Jesus on the Throne International Ministry. Tweet us on Twitter at jotim1 at gmail.com. TikTok at jotim1 at gmail.com. Instagram at jotim underscore one.